everybody. If you were, <laughs> I apologize if you were watching and it got disconnected, but sometimes those things happen. So we're gonna try it all over again. So back to what I was saying, it's the Rockbridge Regional Library Storytime Live. I am Miss Wendy, and this week we are gonna be reading and discovering and learning all about bugs, creepy crawlies, insects, noble Hercules beetles, and all kinds of cool creatures that walk our planet we don't even realize. Miss Carol, do you like bugs? I, I do. You do? Do you have a favorite bug? Um, I would say, I mean, I'm mighty fond of a butterfly. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yes. I mean, who doesn't love a butterfly? They're just beautiful. Yeah. And they morph. I mean, they're really a, mag a magnificent creature. Yes. Um, so, well, let's, let's get started. Let's start with our Hello Friends song. So, if you're just joining us for the first time, it, we, we will say hello. And then we'll say it's time to say hello. And don't forget, I almost forgot, friends, these two guys. <laughs> and they give each other hugs, okay? We're going to do it twice. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello again. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Well, hello, friends. I'm so glad you're here. Um, we get into any books it's usually a good idea to do a little movement and warm up our bodies and get ourselves ready for listening and learning and singing so I thought where, is there a better day to do the roly-poly song no today's the day now I have changed up the roly-poly song a little bit so I'm wondering if I can convince Miss Carol to come join me <laughs> Sure. She is like, what? <laughs> oh, okay, so it's kind I of the love same. surprises. I know. I forgot to tell you that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> okay, so roly poly. This is how we do a roly poly, okay? And first we're going to go roly poly up, 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 up. Roly poly down, down, all the way down, down, down. And then we're going to put roly poly fast, fast, fast. Roly poly, slow, slow, slow. Now here's the new part. Roly poly, roly poly, clap, clap, clap. <laughs> roly poly, roly poly, hands behind your back. One, two, three, boom! And then we're gonna be, did I scare you? <laughs> yeah, so much. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> roly poly, roly poly, up, 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 stretch. Roly poly, roly poly, down, down, down. Now we're going to go fast. Roly poly, roly poly, fast, fast, fast. Roly poly, roly poly, slow, slow, slow. Roly poly, roly poly, clap, clap. Roly poly, roly poly, hands behind our back. Now we're going to scare each other. One, two, three, boom! <laughs> Very good. Okay, awesome. I feel ready. I also feel ready for a story. Are you guys ready for a story? I am. Let's read some books about bugs. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, If you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. Very good. Okay, one, two, 
gonna try something new real quick. I like to do a little bit of breathing before I read. So if you hold your hands and you put your thumb and your first finger together, deep breath in and out. Now we're gonna do the middle finger. Deep breath in, out. Ring finger, deep breath in, out. And then finally your pinky finger, deep breath in, out. And then finally thumbs up because you're feeling good right now. Deep breath in and out. That just gets me ready. Now the first book is called Bugs Galore because you know what? There are millions and billions of bugs out there. There's probably more bugs than humans, maybe. I see it. <laughs> okay, this is called Bugs Galore. It's by Peter Stein and illustrated by Bob Saki. Press. I like this book because it's all about all the different types of bugs that we can encounter on planet Earth. Big bugs, small bugs, creep bugs, crawl bugs, sky bugs, land bugs, slime your hand bugs. Ew. Dirt bugs, tree bugs, hard to see bugs, mean bugs, kind bugs, fun to find bugs, but more bugs, can't ignore bugs. Don't inhale them while you snore, bugs. <laughs> Let's not let that happen. <laughs> that would not be good. Mud safari, hunt for worms. Wishy, that one squirms. Stuck in muck worm, half a yuck worm. Dig down deep and find with luck worm. I'm not, I don't, I, I think an earthworm is amazing. I don't want to touch them though. <laughs> but I know friends who love to touch them. <laughs> Spider creeping, scary, gross, lurking, leaping, don't get close. Freaky, sneaky, shiny, flat bug, hairy, scary, what was that bug? Buzzy bee bug, fuzzy, stinging, time to flee bug. Let's get out of here. We don't want to get stung. Lightning glow bugs, nighttime show bugs, shining bright bugs, what a sight bugs. Some bugs cruise around in groups, some bugs fly in loop-de-loops, some bugs land smack dab in soups, some bugs crawl right under, oops, uh-oh, glad he caught it on time. <laughs> Blah! A stink bug! Plug your nose, bug! Funky, smelly, wash your clothes, bug! Ew! Bugs and more bugs, billions more bugs, googles, gaggles, bugs galore, bugs. Ah, bugs, ew, bugs, crawl on you, bugs. Stay away from crawl on poop, danger, body morphing, rearranger. Just like magic, flapping, flailing, butterflying, soaring, sailing. There they go with lunch. Roly poly, snuggly ball bug. Holy moly, ugly tall bug. Who's that guy? He might be a stick, a stick bug. Love bugs, shove bugs, head bugs, bed bugs, cute bugs, fruit bugs, live bugs, dead bugs. There's a lot. But oddly mild, feared and weird, destructive, wild, otherworldly, chilling, undercover, fun and thrilling. Bugs so secret. Are you wise? All those eyes. What exactly do you see? I see you. Do you see me? 
Look at that. His eye, look how many. These bugs have compound eyes, which means their one eye has a lot of little tiny eyes inside of it, which is super awesome. So this is a fun book, book to remind us about all the different types of bugs there are. And as we are coming to a close with summer, it's going to soon be time to say bye to the bugs. Because I don't know about you, but there are lots of bugs in the summer, and I love to listen to them at night. They're so loud, which I love. Okay, so... I have a song, and this one is about a fly. Now, I don't know if you notice some of my friends here, but I have a butterfly, I have a lightning bug or firefly, I have a little baby bee, and a mama bee. Aren't they cute? I have an octopus, he just stays. <laughs> I have a ladybug, and a little baby spider, and a mama spider and a fly. Now this song is about a fly. This is a fly friend. Have you ever seen flies outside and they're getting in the picnic food and they're doing all this stuff? Well, this song is about a fly on my knee. And so if you're at home, you can just put your hand on your knee and do this song. So, oh, okay, yes. So if you have your hand on your knee, and this is how it goes. A fly is on my knee. It's going to play. Oh, right. Now I remember. <laughs> <laughs> so it, you'll know the melody of this song when we sing it. So after we do the first one, I'm sure you'll catch right on. Okay, ready? One, two, three. A fly is on my knee. A fly is on my knee. Hi, ho, watch me blow. A fly is on my knee. And I'm going to blow them off. <laughs> and there he goes. Where is he going to land? Where is he going to land? Oh, oh, he's on my foot. A fly is on my foot. A fly is on my foot. Hi ho, watch me blow. A fly is on my foot. There he goes. Okay. Don't know where he's going to go this time. Oh, ah. a fly is on my head. A fly is on my head. Blow a fly is on my head. How am I gonna do this? I guess I'll just do it like that. Let's see. Now where is he gonna go? There's no food around. So he's a little <laughs> lost, so a fly is on my arm. A fly is on my arm. Hi ho, watch me blow. A fly is on my arm. And there he goes, and he's off. And he could land a hundred different places, but He's found a happy home over here behind <laughs> with, with the ukulele. So let's read another book. Now this book is an interesting little book because it's about a boy who's thinking about stepping on an ant. And the ant is going to try to convince him not to. So this book is called, Hey, Little Ant. And it's by Philip and Hannah Hoos. hanging out. They might have things in common. This comes to us from Tricycle Press. He's got his bags. He's going somewhere. Else. Kid. Hey, little ant down in the crack. Can you hear me? Can you talk back? See my shoe can see. Wait, see my shoe. Can you see that? Well, now it's going to squish you flat. Uh oh. Not very nice. Ant. Please, oh please, do not squish me. Change your mind and let me be. I'm on my way with a crumb of pie. Please, oh please, don't make me die. Kid. Anyone knows that ants can't feel. You're so tiny, you don't look real. I'm so big and you're so small, I don't think it'll hurt at all. All the way down there. But you're a giant, and giants can't know how it feels to be an ant. Come down close. I think you'll see that you are very much like me. 
kid. Are you crazy? Me like you? I have a home and a family too. You're just a speck that runs around. No one would care if my foot came down. Hmm. Aunt. Oh, big friend, you are so wrong. My nestmates need me because I am strong. I dig out our nest and feed baby ants too. I must not die beneath your shoe. Kid. But my mom says ants are rude. They carry off our picnic food. They steal our chips and bread crumbs too. It's good if I squish a crook like you. Hmm. Aunt. Hey, I'm not a crook, kid. Read my lips. Sometimes ants need crumbs and chips. One little chip can feed my town, so please don't make your shoe come down. Kid. But all my friends squish ants each day. Squishing ants is a game we play. Should he listen to those friends? I don't know. I don't I don't think he should. Ant. Oops. I can see you're big and strong. Decide for yourself what's right and wrong. If you were me and I were you, what would you want me to do? Put yourself in their position. It's up to the kid, not up to me. What do you think the kid should do? Oh, it's going to leave us with a question. What do you should do? Should he let that ant go free? I think he should, because I think everything, every creature has a right to live. And nobody, we shouldn't step on these bugs at all. So that's an interesting one to think about. Now, I was thinking about ants, and here is something that I wanted to show you. You can come and at home, you can make your very own ant out of things that you find in your yard. I have a basket here. I've got some stones and little tiny pieces of wood. I'm sorry, sticks. So if you wanted to make an ant, an ant has three parts. It has a head. It has the middle part, which is called a thorax. And then it has his abdomen, which is the bottom part. So you need three little stones. An ant also has three sets of legs. So you could put a stick here, here. There's one set. You can put a stick here and here. There's a second one. And then you can put a set here and here. So there are the legs. But there's another thing about ants that you have to have, insects have to have, antenna. So if you go out in your yard, you can find little sticks and rocks and you can make insects out of stones and rocks too. You can try to do a butterfly, a spider. Now, if you have a spider, you want four sets of legs instead of three. So that's something you can do at home today. Okay, so I have one more book for you. <clears throat> this book is about one of my favorite insects. I have a lot of favorite insects, I'll be honest. <clears throat> This one is about a firefly. Now, I have a firefly right here. And there's some cool facts about fireflies I wanted to share with you. Did you know that fireflies are not flies at all? They're beetles, fireflies, or lightning bugs. And what? Blinking. So sometimes it blinks once. Another one might blink twice or three times. And each species has their own pattern of blinking. And that's how they can identify. It's a firefly night and it's by Diane o o o Ocheltree, sorry, an art by Betsy Snyder. Ocheltree, I wasn't sure how to say it. This comes to us from Blue Apple. Now, as like I said, as summer's coming to a close, 
I don't know if you guys had time to go outside and enjoy the fireflies at night on a nice warm summer evening. Reminds me of that. When the moon is high and the stars are bright, Daddy tells me, it's a firefly night. Have you guys had firefly nights during the summer? It's magical. I hop off the porch. I feel the air warming my legs and messing my hair. Grass tickles my toes. I zip through the yard, chasing fireflies. Did you guys catch any fireflies? This summer we did. Fireflies shimmer. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. My jar's like a light bulb that's just come alive. Fireflies glimmer. All of them glow. I race to show Daddy their dancing light show. It's exciting. Flickering quicker, they sparkle and shine. I love catching fireflies, but they're not mine. I take one gently out of the jar. My hand is a cage for one tiny star. Uncurling my hand, easy and slow, I whisper goodbye, then I let it go. Flies open their wings. They flitter and flutter, soar over my swings. There they go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blink in the night. Let's see if there's actually ten. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We walk back to the house. I hold Daddy's hand tight. Will tomorrow, I ask, be a firefly night? I guess it will. And these are all kinds of cool facts about fireflies, so you can come check. Awesome. Okay, guys. Well, Tomorrow at 10.30, we have three new books all about fireflies also. I mean, I'm sorry, all about insects, not just fireflies. And I hope you can join me tomorrow. But until then, let's do our hand washing song. Okay, are you ready? Because we got to make sure we wash our hands, okay? Tops and bottoms, guys. One, two, three. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between, rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. Again, tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between, rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. All right, now we're ready to go eat snacks. But until tomorrow, I will see you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. All right, we'll see you tomorrow at 10.30. Have a great day. Bye.